Now, in subsequent videos, I'm going to share with you my list of top 10 favorite plugins. But right now, I want to share with you how to install a plugin from scratch that's not part of our WordPress installation. Now, in order to do that, I come down here to plugins and I want to put add new based on these choices, add new plugin. Then you're going to be presented with this information here. So we're going to come over to our search engine and we're going to type in WP example. If I learn how to spell that, that would be a big plus and just simply the return key. And we're gonna pick this plugin right here. Now, this is one of my favorite all-time plugins because keep in mind, when you're developing a website, either for yourself or your boss or your business or a client, nine times out of 10, you don't have all your content in place. And again, you don't wanna put a bunch of X's and O's in there. You wanna put some kind of placeholder content. This particular plugin is really great because when you're done with it, with one click, you can delete all the sample content. So based on these choices, we're going to click install now. And it's going to say, do you really want to do this? We're going to say, yes, we really, really do. Because Robert told us to. Okay. Now it's going to say, do you want to activate the plugin? Now, again, we talked about this in a previous video. But just by installing the plugin, that doesn't mean it's going to work for you unless you activate it. So you can have many installed plugins. You can have 50 plugins installed, but only three of them activated or vice versa. So I'm going to click right here and activate the plugin. Now, notice what happens here in the bottom left. If I scroll down to the bottom left, this did not this did not exist before. Okay, so this is called WP Example Content. This basically became a new menu option. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to click on that, and based on these choices, I'm going to click right there. Now it does say Add Sample Post, but it's also going to add sample pages, and this is a really cool plugin, especially when we start creating menus and stuff like that. So I'm going to add my sample post. Now keep in mind in previous videos I shared with you when we went to post the only post we had there was the hello world post. So I'm going to choose to take this hello world post and I'm going to trash it because we no longer need it. And I'm also going to go over to pages and the only page we had before was our sample page. So we're going to go down here and scroll down the sample page and we're going to trash that as well. So this is the information that it installed for us. So therefore, if I go back to my front end by going here, visit site, now I have more information to view. Now, very important step here. What you're seeing here is a multiple post because I have multiple posts. Therefore, it's serving up multiple posts on the page. Now, again, I have this placeholder that I don't want to see. So how can I get rid of that? Very simply, I'm logging as my admin, so I go under theme, edit layout, and based on these choices, if I click right here, you'll notice I have two tabs. Here is for my single post. Well, these are no longer single posts. This is now a multiple post. So based on these choices, I don't want to see, I don't want the title to be on. Well, actually, let's leave the title on in this particular case. I don't want a placeholder, and I don't want an image. So I'm going to say one column with no image. Based on these choices, I save this, I come up here, I save the layout, and I go back to my front page. So you'll notice that those placeholders are gone. Pretty cool. Now if I click here, this is going to take me to a single post. So here's what I want to share with you. Here's what's happening right now. Remember that I turned the title for the single post off. So right now I don't know what this post is really about because the title's not there. Remember, we moved that in a previous video. We took it away. So how do I get it back? Well, based on these choices, I go back to edit layout. I click right here. And I go back to single post and I say, look, go ahead and put that title back on. Come down here, hit save. Save the layout, view the page. It takes us back to our home page. I click right there, and now this is in place. Now notice that this is not a hyperlink, but this is a hyperlink because that's what it does by default. Okay, pretty cool stuff. Now, in our next video, I'm going to share with you how to put a slideshow in here, which is really a lot of fun. It'll just add a little bit more excitement. 
and the ultimatum theme ships with tons and tons of cool interesting slideshows we're going to take this one step at a time i'm going to share with you the little nuances and bells and whistles that you have to set up first before the slideshow is going to work for you so stay tuned thank you for being here my name is robert farrell